As the season grinds to a close, you start to pay attention to Selection Sunday and deciding on our four teams. When you think about selection committees for the bowl industry, a lot of committees out there have a handful of scouts, maybe 10 max. Our committee is 200 strong. Debate will rage on, especially in situations when you have four selections where there's going to be a lot of parity in those picks. Teams are going to be separated maybe by one win or one loss in conference, and it's going to make for a very, very interesting discussion, especially when 200 people have a voice. What a huge weekend of college football, especially when you think about winning conference championships. You look at the ACC, Florida State and Clemson is huge in who's going to decide the Atlantic and ultimately potentially the ACC championship. You start to pay attention to those conference records. Right now, a lot of the teams are in the picture, but as you forecast to the end of the season, you would imagine that the 6-2 and two conference record, 5-3 and three conference record, may be pretty much the dividing line as we make selections. In our other conferences, we have win-loss rules and overall record. In the ACC, it's the conference record. So when I say 6-2 and two out of those eight conference games or 5-3, and three, that's what we'll be paying attention to in the ACC. Moving over to the Big Ten, Penn State and Ohio State both was still a crack at the Big Ten crown in a monster game this weekend. Take a look finally in the SEC and the Western Division Championship and potentially the SEC crown at stake when Alabama hosts LSU. Huge games, huge college football weekend. This is what it's all about.